Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Jade Empire. As I continue my blind let's play. Now, this time we're going to, you know, it's time to face the mother and try to cleanse the forest. Um, one thing I kind of thought about, I was going to look up who did the music and I forgot to. Um, so I'll... One of these times, I'll try to remember to do that. And if not, oh well. But we'll see. To the caves! Oh, wait. Oh. To the caves! Whoops. This is nightmarish. We have to finish this any way we can. Yeah, that's a lot of them. Alright, John Star, you ready? Let's go! Change will take you. Soon you will be one of us! So... hungry. What? Who are you? I'm the one who will stop this sickness from spreading. You are weak and impure. You cannot stop the mother or her people. Die now! Thousand cuts. That was wonderful voice acting. <laughs> Goodness. Alright. Let's do it. us changing you into them yes I, I don't know how but they're they're capturing people changing some and eating the rest by the spirits you have to help me how do I help you there's no way to stop I don't want to turn kill me all right I'll, I'll mercy kill him this is so terrible but it's for the best thank you I'm sorry but it needs to be done Ooh. Apparently we leveled. Once again, I'll uh, keep that balance going. Nine points. Ooh, we're one off from maxing out that damage. Uh, we could increase the speed even more. Um, let's see, toad form. We could also increase that damage. How the heck with it? Yeah, let's increase the damage to Toad form. And then we have three points. We will... Oh yeah, that's right, we could turn into the, a horse demon. Um, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'm going to save, I think, the points, the rest of the points for a thousand cuts. Finish that out. Flawed Monk Gym. If you're intimidation gem. Alright, looks like a couple paths. Oh, wait, nope. Or one path. Just in case. Let me, uh, I'll just deal with the mouse this time. Uh, we'll save here. Okay. Oop. Hang on. Move the mouse up. Away. There we go. Kill the filthy fish blood, my Oh, hang on. This is the end. Huh. 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 
Oh, I can just do it this way, okay. No, I think I'd, I'd rather lock on. Pick up this. Pick up this. Scholar's Gym of Fate. Okay. So we have. Oh. Okay, so it looks like just really the one path. Actually, there's that. Let's check here. Yeah, just the one path. Interesting that it goes up. Ooh, this look, looks cool. A lot more guys. We'll go here first. Thousand cuts. Kind of messed that up right there. Besides, I need you to keep the wine flowing. I'm always more dangerous when I'm drunk. We should move. There could be... There's one there! Are they coming out of the walls? I'll go make sure they aren't trying to cut us off. You deal with the mother. Well, there's no turning back now. Who knows how many more cannibals are down there. When you're ready, let's finish this mother off. This should be fun. There's enough of the little guys down there. This could be better than the time I stormed the Fortress of Seven Gates by myself. Okay. What? What do you want? Uh, actually, that's all for now. Nah. I'll uh, talk to you guys later after we get done with this. This actually hang on. Time to bloody my axes. I bet my axes are yours. Well, I was hoping I would select him, but maybe not. Thank you for the save game. Okay, there we go.
Let's do it. Is she? We're about to find out. Oh yeah. Okay. Just bring the whole complex around us. Hang on. How's that? There we go. Well, that was simple. I would have given my life to see the abomination dead. That abomination dead. <laughs> I'd have traded your life for the death of that thing as well. It's a fair trade. <laughs> Will the forest recover? Oh, okay. Uh, no dialogue, but I hope for us all that you could learn the fate of the water dragon. Until she returns to her home, things will only get worse. Farewell. Well, I suppose that's it. You're safe! Thank the heavens. When the earth started to shake, I was cut off from you. The inn's pretty quiet. I think we... you stopped them. I'm glad we came through here. Those beasts had to be destroyed. You should probably go down to his camp and check with Lord Young. He'll likely want to reward you. The Bun Man and I'll make our way back to Tien's Landing. If you need my axes or whatever he does, just call. Brilliant's Gem of Balance. 2000 XP. Nice. Let's, uh, move that. Let's check that. Plus four body, mind, and spirit. Ooh. Intimidation will go down, but I'm tempted to do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Because then that leaves us with... Oh, that's perfect. Look at that balance. 27, 27, 27. Excellent. And then 22, 21, 21. Oh wait, hang on. We can go over here and uh, recover our uh, energy. There we go. All right, let's go, Dawnstar. I wondered how long it would be before you made your way down here. 
I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but the air has changed considerably. The forest shadow herself appeared here in this camp while the earth shook. She explained what was happening on my lands. She explained what happened in the inn. Nasty business, that. Glad you had the skills to deal with that. Mother, was it? Those beasts had to be eliminated. I'm glad I could help. That they did. Imagine such horrors trapped under my own land. Here is the wind map you wanted. The copy is near perfect, and I assure you that the assassins will never know you have it. Much appreciated. What will you do now? We will stay on here for a while. These trees will need tending. Besides, I think I have some old family business to catch up on. Old alliances to reforge, as it were. Do you think the forest will be passable anytime soon? Allow me to answer that, Lord. While well, it seems that you've solved the problem with the forest, that doesn't mean the ghosts will simply up and leave. If we're lucky, then you've stopped things from getting worse, and time will provide the cure. I guess time I left. Indeed, it is. You have my deepest gratitude. I had virtually given up hope, and you appeared like a gift from the heavens. Farewell. That map will carry you safely if you can find a flyer with the range. I wish you all the best of luck. Perfect. Let's go back to Tins Landing. And the guy's not there anymore. All right, so we solved that crisis. We still have the dam. Um, let us go to the map here. Mister Old Masters, the merchant, the captain. Okay. I'm trying to find that uh, one guy with the red. Maybe he is in the the bar, but I thought I I did that last time and I never saw him. Um, I don't know. Uh, forgive me as I'm I need to look around and see if I can find him. Um, you know, before we do that. Let me just go back to the, I think the bathhouse it was. Just to make sure he's not actually in there. I think I'll also go back and talk to the party members as well. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess we cannot enter that any anymore. Um, but then I don't think he, he can be in there then. So, let me take a quick look back around at the tea house, and then I'll talk to the party, uh, party members. Let me see, if, was there any other quests that I had? And I just passed it again. So let's see. The captain, of course, because the dam. Uh, it's the Rit du Tom. And then, that's the Old Masters. Of course, co recovering the amulet, which I think is, yeah, in the ruins by the, by the dam. Powers nearby. Yeah, have flyers. Okay, so yeah, I need to talk to Rue, which I'll talk to him last, I think, to get the flyer. The Great Dam. We're not going to destroy the contraptions. Black. That's the schools. Other techniques. Okay, yeah. So, really and truly, I need to find Jutong, then go to the dam, and then we'll go off after the flyer. Uh, let's talk to this person. We haven't talked to this person yet. You're a stranger here, aren't you? I know everyone in Tian's Landing, and I've never seen you before. I would remember you. You should turn right around and leave this town. Trust me. Who are you? I am Gufu, Great One. Some call me Gufu the Sweet, though I don't know why. I usually smell like the fish I sell. 
Perhaps they are making fun of me, but now there are no fish to sell. I have lived in Tien's Landing all my life, but now I'm ashamed to say I wish I lived somewhere else. I want to ask you some questions. Of course, Great One. I would be honored to answer whatever questions you may have. Um, I know I can find Rue. I know where I can find that, I think. Is where the town? Oh my god, do you have your coin purse with you? Oh my god, no, I'm not doing that. I am, I'm not going to play that kind of character. Uh, question about the town, though. What is it you wish to know? Uh, pretty much know all this, except, uh, why is it called Tien's Landing? I'm afraid I don't know, honored stranger. You should speak with Leisha and the talkative. If anyone would know the tale, he would. You could probably find him wandering around the town somewhere, wasting time and looking for people willing to listen to his stories. Okay, that's all I need to know. Take care of yourself, stranger, and be glad that you do not live in Tien's Landing. Indeed. What if he was back here? I didn't think so. Yeah, I would think he has to be in the tea house. So yeah, let's let's check it one more time. Let's do another once over. Cause there's her. You know, let's talk. Hello, to her. greetings, yeah. welcome. My name is Steeper Yanru, and I'll be. No, that's not right. Not right at all. Idiot. I'm Barkeep Yanru now, not Steeper Yanru. I'm sorry about that. I still can't get the hang of this new position. Sometimes I wish old mother Quan still owned the tea house so things could go back to the way they were. Uh, okay, yeah, let's talk. try him. I want to talk to you about D uh, Dutong and his Imperial Writ. That Imperial Writ has caused us no amount of grief. Mother Quan lost her tea house, waitress Yan Wan is busier than ever, and I spend all day giving out foolish advice. Did anyone ever actually see the writ? Mother Quan saw it, though her eyes aren't too good. Most of us didn't bother to give it a look since hardly anyone in the town can read anyway. Um, I think the writ was a forgery. What? You mean it, it wasn't real? That's my it inkling. Mother Quan should still own the tea house. Problem is, Dutong's already shown everyone the writ and now he's got it locked away. If you're right, he'd never bring it out again. There's no way to prove he cheated Mother Quan. Now I can make Dutong confess. That might work. It would probably help if you get him drunk first. That's something I can help you with. Dutong's always having me send over wine. Usually I mix it with water so he doesn't get too drunk too fast, but I could start sending it to him unmixed. Get him drunk and I'll give him a uh, confession out of him. It won't be quite that easy. I've watched Dutong for quite a while, and when he's drinking, he usually goes through three stages of drunkenness. Dutong gets very friendly when he starts to drink. You might get a confession out of him then, but I doubt it. He's not really all that drunk at that stage. Usually after about seven bowls, he slips into depression and sorrow. He complains about how his life is worthless and what a bad and sinful man he is. Not a pretty sight. By the ninth glass, he starts to get paranoid. You can't really talk to him then. Usually around that time, I try to slip a restorative potion into his glass to sober him up. You can make him sober up again? The restorative tastes pretty foul, but it does the job. Works instantly and makes a man sober as an imperial judge. Dutong's guard keeps a vial handy at all times, just in case. The guard gave me a few vials so I could slip them into Dutong's wine when he starts to get paranoid. Keeps him from getting out of hand. Uh, let's send Dutong some drinks. No problem. We have two sorts of wine here. Peasant's wine and Imperial Seasoned Spirits. The Peasant's wine is pretty weak, but that's usually what Dutong drinks. The Imperial Seasoned Spirits are a lot stronger. One bowl of that is worth three bowls of Peasant's wine. And if Dutong gets too drunk, I have the restorative to sober him up. Let's, uh, give him the Imperial... Uh... Yeah, give the Tutong, uh, the Imperial first. One drink for Master Tutong coming up. Anything else I can do for you? I'll be back in a bit. Good, good. Go speak to Tutong. If he's not drunk enough, or if he's too drunk, come back and see me and I'll mix him up another drink. We'll get him to admit he's a cheat and a sneak. Then old Mother Quan will be back in charge, and I won't ever have to give out another bit of bad advice. So... Where is he? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. He's been right here this entire time. Greetings and salutations. 
Welcome to Master Dutong's Tea House. What can I do for you, my friend? Something about the writ you showed us, uh, Mother Kwan. The writ? Why waste time on such a dry and boring subject, my friend? Can't you see the drink is flowing? Look at how busy my tea house is. Isn't it glorious? Put the writ out of your mind and join the party. Mingle. Enjoy yourself. Everybody should have a good time at Master Dutong's Tea House. Okay. You should speak to Dutong. See if you can get him to confess to... Let's send him some drinks. No problem. We have two sorts of wine. The Imperials... Let's give him peasants. One drink for Master Dutong. One drink for Master Oh god. Dutong. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Good, good. Go speak to Dutong. We'll get him to admit he's a cheat. Okay. We'll see how he is now. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Master Dutong's Tea House. What the writ? The writ? Why would put the writ? Um. Writ. I'll leave you alone. You should speak. I uh, know. Let's send him some okay. drinks. The Let's give him the imperial. One drink for Master Tutong coming up. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, what's he doing? Uh, I'll be back in a bit. What do you want? You come to mock me? Come to laugh at the tragedy that is the life of Three Sheets Dutong. Let's talk about the writ. No, not the writ. Let's not talk about that. It's my secret shame. Just the thought of that writ brings tears to my eyes. It tears at my poor, miserable soul. Uh, tell me about the writ. You can trust me. Yeah, you're a good friend. I could trust you. You'll understand. Oh. I'm a despicable person. A bad, bad man. The writ, it's a fake. A forgery. I made it all up! Boss, what are you saying? I, I better sober you up. God, oh, God! Oh, I hate that restorative potion. Oh! That stuff tastes like vomit baked in a glaze of goat hair and garnished with a sprinkling of horse dung. And now I have the strangest memory, as if I... Oh no. Did I... Did I say anything to you, stranger? Anything about... Oh, I don't know, uh, an imperial writ? Yes, you told me it was a fake. What? No, I never said any such thing. I heard what you said, Dutong. I knew you cheated Mother Kwan out of this place, and now we have proof. You can't get out of this now. Ah, I see what you're after. Oh yes, Three Sheets Dutong was not born yesterday, or the day before that. Indeed, we are speaking the language of commerce. What? I will give you a great deal of silver to keep this little secret from getting out. Lots of silver for both of you, if you keep quiet about this. I... I don't know, Dutong. I could really use the silver, but Mother Quan is such a nice old lady, I... I'm just not sure what to do. You disgust me, Dutong. We won't sell Mother Quan out like this. Right, of course. What was I thinking? Old Mother Quan's a good woman. She deserves to have her tea house back. Uh, uh, boss? People aren't gonna like us when they find out what you did. Maybe we should get out of here. That's the smartest thing you've said since I hired you. Let's go. Well done. It'll be nice to have old mother back in charge again. You should tell Mother Quan she got her tea house back. Now things can go back to the way they were. I knew you would make the right choice. We share the same master and he taught us both well. Let's do it. Let's go back. Hello again, dearie. I hope you're having a nice time here in my... I mean, in Master Dutong's tea house. Dutong's writ was a forgery. Ah. Uh. A forgery? Are you certain? The tongue confess. The tea house is yours again. That, that scoundrel. No wonder he left here so fast. Cheating an old woman out of her hard-earned living. The very nerve. People, listen to me. Master Dutong has left. For good. And thanks to this brave young man here, the tea house is mine again. Hooray for Mother Kwan! Her tea house is back in business! You've given me back the only thing I ever cared about. And you've done a service for this town, too. 
I'm going to turn this place back into a respectable quality tea house. It was nothing. I was glad to help. I don't have much. The only reward I can offer is my humble thanks. That and a promise that you will always be welcome here at Old Mother Kwan's. Thank you so much. And we leveled. There we go. So yeah, another point there, another point there, another point there. 12 points. Let's go ahead and max out. 1,000 cuts, 125% damage increase. Insane. And we'll save the rest. Alright. I think it's time to go to the camp and talk to the party. That was an odd loading screen. I guess the reason it's loading is because we just got new party members and they hadn't been loaded in yet. Well, this has already become an educational trip. From what you discussed with Hui, it would seem we are indeed tied to important events. I have concerns as well. Hui convinced me that your master is the glorious strategist. Tell me, Don Star, what are your earliest memories with him? You would be better served by asking his favorite student. He was at the school three years before I was. She is correct about that. I was with him the longest. We'll focus on you quite a bit by the time we are done, given the spirit monk connection. But I asked Don Star what she remembers. The only thing I know about my life before coming to the school is that I was not wanted. Probably because of the bad omens I was born under. Bad omens? What makes you think that? You said you don't know anything. I know because of my name. It's one of the few details Master Lee was told. I was named for a red glow opposite the morning sun, like a distant... a distant fire. Like the burning of the dirge that Hoy just mentioned. Uh, yeah. Yes, I guess so. I wasn't there, of course. No one but you survived. I guess someone saw it, but I don't know where dirge is or how far the fire was visible. It fits the time, but that just confirms my thoughts about being born under a bad omen. What could be worse than this attack on Dirge and the Water Dragon? If that is the most troubling thing you learn about your birth, consider yourself lucky. Hang on, hang on, Dawnstar. Come. Looks like you have something to say. And I can't talk to you for some reason. Fine, I'll talk to him. Impact. Thank you again for rescuing me from those things. I owe you my deepest gratitude. Is there some way I can be of assistance? What do you think about a current situation? It would seem we have our work cut out for us, but as my darling wife likes to say, when things are tough, quit your whining and get to work. I can almost hear her screaming at me now. If ever you find a cure for bad memories, please let me know. Talk about your life before you were captured. As I mentioned, I am but a simple bun master with a dear wife who has turned my life into a miserable cesspool devoid of humor and excitement. Bless her soul. My wife ensures that I work very hard every day to become the best bun master in the Imperial City, perhaps the best in all the Empire. Though I was one of the most respected fighters in the Empire before I met my precious bride, she made sure that I became something more or less. Why doesn't she like you fighting? As I mentioned before, my style requires that I drink. She detests drinking, though there are things she detests even more, like talk of us separating. My loving wife would knead me into several small dumplings and boil me in hot oil if she suspected I was even speaking to you about leaving her. Life is not all bad, though. I may have lost all my dignity and self-respect, along with my ability to fight or even make a tight fist, but I am a bun master of some renown. Well, that's something to be proud of, I guess. Oh yes, I'm very proud of that. Indeed, something very useful. Buns, that is. Everybody needs them. Oh yes, very proud. That's all for now. As you wish. I will be here waiting impatiently if you require anything. Yes? Is there something you want? I want to know what you and who were... Uh, Hoy was uh, talking about. Nothing to concern yourself over. Very old business. 
I traveled this way when I was fleeing the Lotus Assassins. I want to know about this more with this child she mentioned. It was nothing. Some vagrant waif I passed off after making sure its belly was full. A far less surprising turn than what Wei said about your Master Li. She confirmed that he was the Emperor's brother. I know Hui to be a truthful and honorable person, much more so than I consider myself to be. I do not question her belief, but belief alone is not enough. What if it is true? Much will have to change to accommodate this truth. It means the Emperor lied about Li's death, and he may have assaulted the heavens. The Emperor subject to the common vice of deception. Unthinkable. And Death's hand has far more influence than he should. Perhaps. But that too implies a weakness that the Emperor cannot have. I warn you, this will lead in a dangerous direction for you and Dawnstar. I cannot condone it, but I have agreed to help, and I will. Just don't blame me when the whole world is against you. Appreciate the help, even if you give it reluctant. You will need more than my help. Just try not to endanger your companions. They are not to blame for what your destiny mandates. Now, is there anything else? I want to talk about uh, you some more. You seem agitated. I am always agitated. It is because of my training. We were taught that we were always being watched, always being stalked. In many cases, it is actually true. You likely have similar feelings. When trained to be as vicious as the assassins, or when you are the protege of a famous master, you tend to attract unwelcome interest. I wonder how you will react to this scrutiny. I also wonder if your fellows will stand by you when the true weight of what you claim becomes known. If anyone is drawn to my cause, I will do my best not to endanger them. Your best may not be enough. That is why it is so often used as comfort after failure. You tried your best, but death consumed the nation anyway. Sorry. The sides of the coming conflict seem very well defined. That will not always be the case. It is sometimes difficult to see the truth behind the actions of others. Enough. I don't have anything else relevant to say. Perhaps I will when I have seen more of what you are capable of and what your master intends. What do you think about our current situation? I don't know what else I can do for you right now. If I can help you, I will. But for now, I've got nothing new to offer. Alright, goodbye for now. Goodbye then. What? What do you want? What did you do before you were with Lord Yoon? Why does it matter? I was born by my mother and sucked at her teeth like every man. Well, like every man does with his mother. Anyway, by the time I was old enough to swing an axe, my father was dead and my mother disowned me. Of course, killing my father might have given her reason. I think she did it out of shame. My father beat me and my brother senseless and made our lives miserable. Either way, that was the end of my childhood. What'd you do then? I traveled a lot after that, begging for some things and taking the rest. Tough times, but not the worst. My axes and my wits kept me alive. Must have been very difficult. You'd think a seven-year-old might be an easy target, but I soon learned just where to cut a man to make him squeal like a pig. Ah, those were the days. Tell me something about your past. No, we've got better things to do right now. Maybe I'll feel like talking after I've bloodied up my axes a few more times. That's fair. Meh. Okay. Um, let's go over here really fast. I thought... The forest was a disturbing place. Such destruction. It was horrible, even if it was mostly unseen. If you could spare some time, could we talk about what we have seen? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I mentioned how you are downstairs. Anything bothering you? Our time in the forest was very troubling to me. To see such distance between the concerns of men and spirits is something I am still getting used to. I have been sensitive to these things for as long as I can remember, but it was not always such a disturbing talent. There used to be harmony. When did you notice a change? It was very gradual. The world just seems to be filling up with spirits that have no place to go. That this affected even the forest shadow is very disturbing. 
It makes me wonder how deep the trouble goes, and what mortals like us are supposed to do about it. What do you think? Master Lee thought you were tied to this somehow. Can you comfort me? You know, you can ask me ask me for anything as long as I have your company. Your appreciation is just what I was looking for, and I am grateful. I know we will do what we can, even if the world moves in ways we cannot fathom. I am glad we can talk like this. It soothes my mind. I hope we can continue another time. Uh, I have some general questions. I will answer what I can. Um. Ah, uh, that's it. Be well, my friend. I just find it funny that every time we have to talk to her, we have to come back here. And not in front of everybody else. So I'm guessing that other party member is just, uh... Like he said, kind of like, you know, like a spirit merchant, you know, that just shows up randomly. Um... Actually, hang on. Let's go this way really fast. Okay, just wanted to make sure. All right, we'll start making our way to the dam. You have managed to survive. Oh. I suppose someone of your skill cannot be easily dissuaded. Uh, who are you and why'd you attack me? You may call me Silk Fox. I apologize for my previous aggression, but I thought you were in league with an enemy of mine. I was clearly mistaken. Powerful forces are at work here. You are caught in great events that are beyond you. But I may have use for someone as impetuous as you. What do you want? I want nothing more than for you to continue your journey. You seek the old man who was taken from Two Rivers, correct? Of course you do. He was taken by death's hand. I could tell you where his minions have gone. For a price. What do you want for this information? A simple trade. I tell you where the abductors are, and you tell me who that old man is. Hmm. I... I don't know if I should... Be truthful, truthful with her, or just tell her that she's my... That he's not she, that he's my master. Um... I'll tell her... The old man was masterly, my teacher. You mix truth with lies. He must be more for Death's hand to keep him alive. Still, you've told me what I need to know. Upriver from this village is a pirate stronghold. The river fortress of Gao the Greater, a minion of Death's hand. The flyers that attacked your village came from that stronghold, and returned there. The old man must have passed through it. He may still be there, although I know that Death's Hand has already moved on. I don't know if we're friends yet. Uh, what do you know of Gal? His flyers give the Lotus Assassins mobility and speed. If you can stop Gao, or even hinder him, you will hurt Death's Hand. Remember, if you seek the old man, or revenge on Death's Hand, go to Gao's fortress. My path takes me elsewhere. If you actually reach the Imperial City, I will be impressed. Until then, I wish you luck. You are a surprising little peasant. Indeed. Alright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where I'll call it for this episode. Next time, we will go uh, to the dam. You know, go through the ruins. Uh, the amulet piece should be there. Take out, well, possibly Gal the Greater. You know, if we take him out. Um, and whatnot. And then, yeah, help, help the citizens. And then we'll go after the pirates afterwards. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in and watching another episode. As always, wherever you guys are, have a good day, have a good night, and take it easy.